Okay, transitioning. This can refer to so many different things. You can be transitioning with your body, your face, even your gender. But this term actually pops up quite a lot in the curly girl world, which refers to your hair. Transitioning is simply a period of time when a girl or a guy with damaged hair, usually chemically processed, so it could be dyed, texturized, relaxed, it can even be heat damaged, which is probably the most common one in most curly girls journey. Well, instead of cutting all of their hair off at once, they prefer to just wait it out, let their natural hair grow in, and just simply cut off the damage. It's not anything you need to feel embarrassed about. Transitioning is literally just you growing out what God gave you naturally, which is actually what I'm doing at the moment. I've been transitioning for a good 10 months now, and there's definitely some struggles to it. Yes, I'm about to say it. Transitioning is hard. And for those who have never transitioned before, you're just like, how could it be hard? It's literally just you growing out your hair. No. It's actually way harder than that, and there's so many things you have to face whenever you're transitioning with your hair. First, starting off with the patience and time that it takes to fully transition your hair. Some people are just not patient enough. It literally takes a good two years to grow out a full head of hair again. And some people, like myself, hate waiting. Even starting to transition, you're already having struggles in your mind. Are you sure you want to do this? Would I look ugly with my natural hair? My hair is so silky smooth when I'm relaxed. Am I sure I want to give that up? Am I okay with looking crazy for a while just because I want my natural hair back? Is this just a phase? And yes, I was thinking all of these things in my six months transitioning. Yes, it goes on from one month to six months. It stopped after six months, just so you know. But yeah, all those thoughts just come into your mind and you just have depth of doing this whole process. Maybe it's a waste of time. Maybe you're just not gonna like the results. There's so much more going on mentally than physically. When it comes to transitioning, guys, detangling is hard as heck. So there's this thing called the line of demarcation. It's when your natural hair and your stringy hair meet. This line is so fragile and it can easily be broken. So therefore, detangling is hard, especially whenever you wanna keep the length. The things that your processed hair might need, your natural hair might not need. Don't even get me started on the hairstyles you can have. When it comes to transitioning, you're so limited on the amount of hairstyles that you can do. What I'm trying to say is the struggle of hiding your transitioning hair is hard. For all my transitioning curly girls out there, that is fantastic. Keep up the good work and stay strong. I really just wanted to discuss the struggles that I've had as a transitioning curly girl. And if you've had more struggles, don't forget to tell me. Comment down below what your struggles are as a transitioner. Or just let me know what state you are in your natural curly hair journey. Maybe you've just big chop. Maybe you've been natural your whole life. Maybe you've had heat damage. I don't know. Let me know. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. You should tip her. Hey.